Hello and welcome to the Ask How To Show. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about the uh, Logitech Harmony 300 remote control, uh, universal remote control. I'm really liking this thing because, uh, you know, it's not back in, like back in the day where you bought a universal remote control and you had to sit there for an hour <laughs> going beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, programming the darn thing. Uh, nowadays, with the uh, technology we've got, all you got to do is plug this thing into your computer using a USB cord, and away you go. You get to download uh, your devices from there. So let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is go to www.myharmony.com and uh, create an account. I've already done that. Uh, once you create a, an account, Go to sign in and it's going to bring you to a page similar to this only it's it's going to have a couple of links to download uh, two different things you're going to need uh, one of which is going to be the Logitech Harmony software and then as well as Microsoft Silverlight uh, so download and install those and then come back to the sign in page sign back in and this is what this is what's going to come up or or something similar uh with instructions on what to do next i guess i should have maybe i had a video showing all of this but uh, i didn't like it so i'm redoing it uh just follow the online prompts plug in your remote control to your computer uh, once you've done that you're going to want to get the uh, serial numbers and model numbers off of your devices that you want to add. I've already added my TV, uh, but you can go back in here and add devices later on. So right there it's showing my, my TV, Sony, uh, with the uh, serial number, model number. Uh, one thing I want to point out is this model of uh, remote control only uh, allows you four devices which is fine that's beyond my needs anyway I've basically only got the TV I want to control with it uh, you can also configure the buttons uh, so if you want to change some buttons on say the Sony TV you can do that uh, for some reason, ah oh, there we go so you can mess around with what the buttons do. Um, you can take off some functions, whatever you want. Uh, if you don't like the way you've configured it, you can always restore it to default. Uh, so you can teach it commands, whatever you want to do. I found that uh, the remote control worked just fine with the default functions and default layout. So I'm not going to mess with that. Um, so you can add favorite channels uh, there's also an online user manual that you can download in PDF uh, that's about it I would highly recommend this product uh, it's it's a great product works just fine with my TV uh, it actually works better than the original remote control to be honest with you I didn't like the Sony remote control um, this is a this is a basic uh, overlay of what the remote control looks like. It's um, you know very functional, lightweight, uh, works great. Anyway, that's about all I've got on the uh, Logitech uh, Harmony 300 remote control. Uh, tune in next time. Thanks for watching, and if you can, just hit that subscribe button. Thank you.